Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can get really creative with the buttons in your Squarespace website and give them a unique gradient background. Gradients are one of my favorite things to create with custom code, so in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basics of creating your gradient and then how to apply that gradient to individual buttons on your Squarespace website. Now, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, we've got a lot to customize today. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to show you exactly how all of this works step by super simple step. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and you'll notice right here on this main page, I have some example buttons for primary, secondary, and tertiary. We're going to use custom CSS to change all of these on-page buttons, and then I'll show you how to isolate by type and then how to isolate by individual button. All of this we're going to do with custom CSS. So let's navigate to design and select custom CSS. Now underneath here, I've got the selectors we'll use, and I also have an example gradient code, and I'd love to teach you how it works. I'll paste that code right here into custom CSS, and notice all of the buttons have now changed. The first line of this code gives it a default background color. This background color will show up if the browser can't load the gradient code, which sometimes happens in older browsers. After that, we have the WebKit linear gradient, which is a default for some browsers, and then the main linear gradient code. So it does look like it's repeating. It says background, 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 but that's important. Now this code right here is the actual gradient. You'll notice that in both of these lines, WebKit linear gradient and standard linear gradient. The first part of this code is to specify the direction. In this case, we said to right. So it'll have this color on the left, blending in with this color on the right. Now we can change that direction. Maybe we want it to be to left, or we want it to be to the bottom, or we can even specify a direction like 45 DEG if we want it to be 45 degrees or an angle. You can also add additional colors. Let's say we actually want this gradient to finish with pink. I just added the WebSafe color name pink and we're good to go. Now it's important to notice that if you change that linear gradient, make sure you copy it to the WebKit linear gradient too, okay? So now that you've got that updated, let's talk about isolating the individual buttons. Let's say we only want this to happen to our secondary button. I can grab this selector right here, which is listed in the description below, and I'll paste it right here, and that will apply the gradient code to only the secondary on-page buttons. But what if all you wanted to change was this secondary button and nothing else on your Squarespace website? We can do that with custom CSS too. I'm gonna click on a free Chrome extension that's linked in the description below, not affiliated, just a fan, and I'm going to copy its block ID for that specific button. I'll turn the extension off, and here at the very beginning, we need to go back to saying SQS block button element, and then before that selector, we're going to paste the block ID and add a space. Now only that secondary button has changed. Pretty awesome, right? Now there's one last trick that I'd love to teach you, and that's how to create a hover effect for these buttons. I'm going to copy this entire code. I'm going to enter a new line and paste a duplicate of this code. But this time, after the word element, I'm going to add the text hover. And instead of 45 DEG, I'm going to say negative 45 DEG. Now check it out. The colors will flip when I hover over it with my cursor. All I did was add the text hover after the selector, and then I changed the direction. Instead of 45 DEG, I made it negative. Now we could also do something like, say, to right. There we go. And then up here, we'll change these back to two left. And now we flip flop the gradient on that horizontal axis like that. Now you can customize this code however you'd like, adding more colors or less. And if you want some inspiration, I do have a collection of gradient codes available at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. Here you'll find 35 pre-made gradient codes that you can quite literally just copy and paste into your own Squarespace website. Again, that's inside the square.co forward slash gradient. However you've modified the buttons on your site, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that I just shared with you along with the link to my free guide to gradients. You'll find that at inside the square.co forward slash gradient. There, I've listed out 35 creative gradient codes that you can use for the buttons on your Squarespace website or just about anything that has a background. Again, that's available for free at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post a brand new video every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website.
Bye for now. Did you know that there are over 15 types of buttons available in Squarespace? This tutorial covers the selector for the top four, but if you check out the button block section of my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, you'll find the selectors for all of the other types of buttons that you can customize with code. Get lifetime access to this digital database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.